Now, one of our most popular segments here on the story is the KGW vault. We just love getting all the suggestions. We get them almost every night. People want us to dig into the vault and find stuff. They use that hashtag. Hey, Dan, John tweeted. Hey, Dan, two stories come to mind. Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh and the 96 flood. Both of those really interesting pieces of Oregon's history. Let's talk about the Rajneeshis today. You may know the story. You may have seen that Netflix documentary. It was very popular, Wild Wild Country. It came out a couple of years ago. But, but if you don't, the followers of Indian spiritual leader Bhagwan Sri Rajneesh completely took over a central Oregon town in the 1980s. And to put it lightly, things, uh, well, let's just say they got out of hand. Here's a little taste from the KGW vault. Antelope. There is no antelope today. But when critics want to hit hard at the Rajneeshis and their tactics, they invoke the name of Antelope. The Rajneeshis, faced with the possibility of losing Rajneesh Param in lawsuits filed by the Thousand Friends and needing a city, began buying the closest one they could find. Well, they have bought uh, the old greenhouse, which is the unknown house, and property on the lower end of town, which consists of about three lots or five lots, something like that seven lots on the other side of town and they're in the process of buying more and they bought two two lots uh, and a mobile home on it and they bought the restaurant yes they're strangers to us and their mode of living is different than we're accustomed to so it's really hard to tell in the beginning locals didn't know what to make of their new rajneeshi neighbors but that didn't last long Sheila denied it, but the rumor spread among the 40 old-time residents of Antelope that Sheila had said that if she could buy up enough property, she would control the taxes. The same rumor said her husband promised, if they don't sell now, they'll sell later, at my figure. Damn right there'll be trouble. She tried to tax me out of my place. There'll be damn big trouble. Well, I don't want these critters running around the country. There are a couple of sound bites for you there at the end. Now, look, if you're not familiar with the story, uh, if you are familiar, rather, then you know what happened next. An assassination plot, a bioterrorism attack, election fraud. Yeah, it got pretty crazy. Um, I recommend checking out the Netflix doc. It's really interesting, especially if you're new to this area of the country. Get to know the spot. Uh, let us know what else you want to see, too, from the KGW Vault. Keep sending us in those emails and Facebook messages. Any way you want to get a hold of me, it's pretty easy. You can look me up.